Cuda.com and Royal Farms bringing you the game of the week today. We're on campus at Gilman School where the Gilman Greyhounds are going to take on the Landon Bears. Booker Corrigan alongside inside lacrosse writer Ty Zanders. Ty, let's get some education as far as the Landon Bears and what they bring to the table today. Well, they started off 0-2, and then they went and beat Hafford School, a big upset there. Hafford's first loss in 30 games. They bring a lot to the table. Coach Bordley says this is his deepest midfield since the Matt Ward days in 03. Charlie Schneider leads the show. He's headed to Maryland. Hank Brown headed to Drexel. Very good team. And Alex Joyce in goal headed to Georgetown. He had 14 saves in that game against Hafford. And Gilman packs a lot of punch offensively. They run two very talented midfields. You're going to see a lot of Gordy Kerber, Cotter Brown, as well as Zeke Morrill. Zeke does a nice job facilitating an offense. You look for the long, tall midfielder Jake Mathai in the middle of the field. And defensively, TJ Trusty doing a nice job, as well as my main man, Timmy, Timmy Jenkins. Uh, we're going to see Brian Moore in the cage. Great matchup today. Gilman comes in with a number nine ranking. Landon, number 18. We'll see what's at stake today. Again, Booker Corrigan, Ty Zanders, bringing you the CUDA.com Game of the Week presented by Royal Farms. First quarter of today's game brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Baltimore Crabs, one of the top organizations in the entire country. Great club program. We're going to see a bunch of those players out here today. And as always, our game of the week presented by Royal Farms. Make Royal Farms your first stop before and after every game for everything from custom-built subs and wraps, healthy snacks, drinks, fresh brewed coffee, western fries, and of course, Royal Farms delicious, fresh, never frozen chicken. Royal Farms real fresh, real fast. And we are set to go with the face-off logo. Gilman sends out Jake Mathai. 6-6, Jake Mathai getting after on the face-off logo against Jack Falk. Possession called, releases both players, and Landon comes away with it. Nice ground ball by number 21, Michael Rhodes. You see Cotter Brown getting after that ground ball, and here's a little transition opportunity for the Bears. Shot just wide. And Booker with how fast this Landon Bears midfield is, I think we'll see a lot of these goals come in transition. Gilman can also can also keep up with them, but I think a lot of these goals will come in unsettled situations. Landon getting their first midfield unit out. Hank Brown, one of the captains, running alongside Rob Dunnigan. Charlie Schneider, who, Ty, you talked about in the warm-up. No matchup there, and Snyder comes up with the loose change. Cotter Brown d and him up. You can hear the communication of that Gilman defense. One of the things that Coach Matthews is known for. Two great coaches today. Brooks Matthews, head coach of Gilman, as well as Rob Bordley, the head coach of the Landon Bears. Some great staffs as well. Inside feed just wide, and that's going to be Gilman possession. I alluded to the staffs for Landon. So many great coaches, John Shushin and Bobby Horsey, along with Penn Leachman, Andrew Barter, and J.R. Bordley, also one of the coaches. Then for Gilman, obviously John Gillespie and Owen Daly doing a nice job helping the Gilman Greyhounds maintain that national recognition. McDonough Eagles on the uh, Gilman coaching staff, interestingly enough. Brent Holmes and Owen Daly. I had the good fortune of coaching Owen Daly back in his high school oh, days oh, in the 90s oh. as we see Guri Kerber sharing it up top with Jake Mathai. Harry McCarthy spins it around all the way behind the cage and back into the capable hands of Gordy Kerber. The whistle Referee Carmen D. John Dominico with a warning on the chin strap buckle. Leo Falcone, number 17 for Landon, issued the warning by Mr. D. John Dominico. And now we're back in action. 10 minutes remaining first quarter. Jake Mathai drives hard right hand. Behind to Kerber. And now we see our. Mike McCarthy doing a nice job. This is Will McBride. 
a lot of legacy type players on this Gilman team, guys who have seen family members go through. Gilman, of course, some big losses due to graduation, but they've got some guys to step up. They're a very deep team. Shot goal, Will McBride. He gets the rebound of the Jake Mathai shot and comes up shooting. Goaltender Alex Joyce, not much of a chance on the rebound shot. He did a nice job tracking Jake Mathai's initial offensive shot, but Gordy Kerber comes up with the rebound. one nothing. Gilman Greyhounds. You don't see Joyce give up many of those. I don't think you'll see another one of those uh, happen today. He's a very, very good stopper. Just a rock solid keeper in cage. Gilman awarded possession on the withholding procedural violation. Gives us our first look at John Sims in the second midfield unit, Andrew Gemma, as well as Riley DeSmit. Number 32 for Gilman, Riley DeSmit is a player who can make things happen up and down the field. And you know Landon has done their homework. They put the long stick right on DeSmit to start off the possession. Sims gets it over to DeSmit. Max Green settled up on that right hand. Got to the five by five. Looked like he was gonna try maybe an inside roll and then thought about just hauling off and whaling one. Shot, save Joyce. Joyce goes down low to the gap, get that and quick outlet pass. Hank Brown with possession for the Bears. Peter Laco gets it quickly to Schneider. It looks like they're putting a short stick on Charlie Schneider. I think that you know he'll probably make them pay there. He's said in Maryland, he's a great dodger, excellent shooter, and uh, very good in transition as well. I'm sure he likes his matchup. And here is Snyder with the short stick ball bobbled out, but still has an opportunity. Defended by John Sims right now. Snyder, big isolation play behind the cage. Snyder drives left-handed, looking to feed. Slide comes early, ducks the slide shot, save Brian Moore. Moore goalie headed to Harvard. He's very good out of the goal, good in clearing. Great athlete. Love to see the Gilman guys headed to Harvard. They've sent a number of players there. I attended Roanoke College. I know the academic rigors of Harvard, <laughs> very similar. So it's interesting to see them Not so able, fast, to my take, friend. able to take that on. Jake Mathai, top side, gets it down to Green. That's right, Max Green was a Under Armour All-American underclassman player of the game last year. Nice little athlete, does things well, sees the field well, and finishes well. Jake Shooter Mathai, splits right to left, turn pass, gets it back out to Harry McCarthy. McCarthy looking to move it. Defender slips, McCarthy pass. Kerber tries to pitch it. There's Max Green. As the crowd swells here on campus at Gilman, Cuda.com and Royal Farms bringing you great action. Six minutes remain, first quarter. Gilman in their home, Whites, Landon Road, Brown. I mentioned earlier how Landon can really run and they'll, they'll, they'll push transition. Gilman taking long possession is probably a smart call there. Shot wide, backed up. The intensity matching the level of competition so far today. These teams are clearly in it to win it. Two coaches who like to run a little bit. Zeke Morrill driving right hand, comes out. 
successful inside roll, but opts for no shot save. Joyce. Harry McCarthy with the shot, Joyce with the save. And you see the short stickman, Marshall Peters, gets it for Landon. So many great athletes on this field today. First quarter brought to you by the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. So fortunate to have such a great organization like the Baltimore Crabs supporting the efforts of these fine athletes. Got to be at least seven or eight of these guys on, on the Baltimore Crabs squads, whether it's 2014, 13, or 12. Oh. Landon running some circle offense shot into the chest of Timmy Jenkins. Timmy, what are you so mad about right now? Knocking men down. Shot save more quickly in transition, looking to get it up to Mathai. Mathai, a little dipsy do on the behind the back with the stick. Comes out inside shot. Goal. Transition. Chris Walsh, the left hander. Mathai comes down and makes the nifty little pass to the outside. And just like that, 2 0 Gilman. And just like that. The bookman takes home the race to Nifty. 4-16 remaining first quarter. <laughs> Royal Farms and Cuda.com bringing you the game of the week from Gilman School today. You call me sleeping there, Booker. I'm a little upset. Allie, what's <laughs> Neto's Getting a lot of tweet action on the, the race to Nifty. And once again, the bookman takes it home. Gilman running a lot of players through. Chris Walsh just scored the second goal. He's now getting a run in midfield. Gordy Kerber feeling the defensive pressure of Mark Strabo. Number 12, Mark Strabo, one of the captains for this Landon team. Does such a nice job of lifting that intensity and that pressure. Isolation behind the cage. Jack Falk, the short stick, inverted. Andrew Gemma, number 26 for Gilman, makes the wise decision. Inside play, shot, goal. Gordy Kerber gets underneath this defender and finishes inside. Timeout, Landon. We will step away as well. You are watching the game of the week on CUDA.com, presented by Royal Farms. Make Royal Farms your first stop before and after every game for everything from custom-built subs and wraps, healthy snacks, drinks, fresh brewed coffee, western fries, and of course, Royal Farms' delicious, world-famous, fresh, never-frozen chicken. Royal Farms, real fresh, real fast. Number 13, Ned Emela into face-off for the Gilman Greyhounds. And we get a late violation Landing is sending out Sam Lanson to face off. Lampson a little bit banged up early in the season. He's back to take face off to the Bears. He'll play the Fairfield next year. And you see more and more of those great programs sending players to what's not considered a traditional D1 power, but teams like Fairfield, Marist, Robert Morris. Let's give Fairfield a little bit more respect this year. They've uh, had a great start so far. Sure, but still a non-traditional power. Absolutely, absolutely. Circle offense right now for Landon. And now let's come the cutters. Landon Peter Laco. <laughs> great defense by Devin Tucker. Good gravy. Devin Tucker all over him like a spider monkey right now. Laco able to move it quickly. Sam Lynch facilitates the movement, gets it over to the far side, shot just wide. Jack Falk. Taylor Valencia setting the offense in play for the Greyhound, for the Landed Bears, excuse me. Valencia off the great start in 2012. He's a transfer from St. John's, D.C. Had a Delaware. One of those tough little plays. 
Matt Podolicchio comes up with the rebound, loose ball, picks it up, and extends his shooting angle, gets topside. Really did a nice job improving his angle for the goal for Landon. Podolicchio, guys, who was almost come out of nowhere this year. He's uh, an excellent hockey player. I think the top player in the area and uh, scored a number of big goals so far for the Bears. Nice rebound there. Podolicchio puts the Bears on the board. Loose ball picked up by Andrew Mitchell, long stick. And now he is matched up by Gilman's long stickman, Brendan Barger. Find your goalie. Out of the land and stick of Andrew Mitchell. Long stick midi Andrew Mitchell in a tough spot right there with guys all over him and no, nowhere to go. No way to free his hands. A chilly overcast day here in Baltimore. Gilman gets it over to TJ Trusty. Now back to Brian Moore. Real leader on the field, Brian Moore. Does a nice job of coordinating sides, slides. Getting guys in the right spots on clears. And Gilman gets a successful clear. Will McBride. Behind the cage, this is Kerber. One minute left, first quarter, first quarter always brought to you by the great people at the Baltimore Crabs Lacrosse Club. Baltimore Crabs, one of the most highly respected lacrosse clubs. National scope. Crabs just want to support the fine efforts of these athletes and coaches as well as parents. Harry McCarthy reverses it. This is Mathai. Mathai head up the whole way. Gilman leads three to one. Mathai comes up shooting. Joyce tracked it well. It's gonna be Gilman possession. Chris Walsh already has a goal today. Alex Povich being him up. He gets it quickly to Kerber. Kerber all the way top side. They spin it around, get it to Will McBride. McBride, a little re-dodge right there. Gets it back over. Kerber, shot goal. Nifty play on the inside by Kerber. He's so good around the crease. It's unbelievable. Great hands, and uh, that's his bread and, butter right, bread and butter right there. Excuse me. That's his butter and bread. Spaghetti and meatballs. Lamb and tuna fish. <laughs> Name that movie, Booker. I can't. This is astonishing. There is a first time for everything. Big Daddy. Ah, Big okay. Daddy. Love that kind of stuff. 14 seconds left, four to one now. Gilman Greyhounds catching Landon before they get off the bus, really. Sam Lanson set the face off against. Gilman sends out Davey Previs for the late first quarter face off. Hank Brown driving hard right handed. Have one, Hank. Hank, the old hard bouncer. Big play. And for the Bears, that's what you want. You know, six seconds left in the first quarter. Down four one at a time, and uh, they're hoping they can carry that over that momentum into the second quarter. And nice still six seconds. Yeah, the Drexel bound senior. Gilman sent out at least four different faceoff guys in this first quarter. Faceoff won by Jason Murphy. First quarter comes to a close, four to two. Gilman leads. We are on campus at Gilman. Cuda.com and Royal Farms bringing you the game of the week. What a great event, great occasion. Glad to have you with us, and we will be back for the second quarter.